when a person goes through crisis and they go through deep loss and there's grieving and there's deep pain, there's always a choice. David went through this in 1 Samuel chapter 30. And the Bible says in Ziglag, in one day, he lost everything. Everything was burned up in one day. All of his men wanted to stone him, and he was distraught. Everyone was weeping and crying. Just imagine, and I know those of you that have experienced loss, you know that, that feeling that causes your bones to shudder, and it causes your nervous system to go off the Richter scale because what was normal and what you knew what was consistent is no longer and you're holding on and trying to hold on to something that you could depend on. But I want us to look at what David did. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 30, when everyone wanted to stone him, he strengthened himself in the Lord and he asked the Lord, what should I do? And the Lord responded and he said, David, you will pursue, overtake, and recover all. I want to say that to someone. Whatever you're going through, however dark it is, however uncertain things are, know this. If you and I will seek the Lord, he'll give you the same strategy. It may be a little different, but it'll ultimately be this. Pursue God, overtake what's overtaking you, and you too will recover all. And I believe that God's restoration plan is always better than what you had before. Let me say this. My marriage wasn't restored. And people told me, well, if God blessed you, it would have been restored. I said, well, you're right. But I'm not in control of all the choices of people in my life. But I've discovered this. Things may be different, but they're better. And they're better because I'm better. I've become a better man through it. And so can others. So can you who are watching. Things may not turn out the way you want, but that doesn't mean you have to stay the same person in the process. And I think you'll discover that in the midst of the fire, you'll find the fourth person. Just like the three Hebrew boys, they made a decision. Whatever's going to happen, we're going to go through the fire. And I want to encourage you, whether or not you're seeing things be restored, whether you're seeing things crumble before you, make a decision like the three Hebrew boys that you're going to go through the fire. And in the midst of the fire, I guarantee you this, you'll know Jesus in a new way. You'll know the man in the midst of the fire.